Peninsula of Rocks has been called Seal Rock since the 1800s. This is the only rookery left in Southern California on the coast. If someone walked off the beach, the seals are gonna, uh, are gonna flush out into the ocean. They can't stay in the water 24 hours a day. They need a safe place to get out of the water. They get out of the water because they're exhausted or they're, um, they get a, sort of like a hypothermia condition. And they also have to warm up to promote their, their fur growth and molting. This is a federal law that's being broken. The other side of the argument is that this is a public beach that was built for children and they should be able to use it without having to worry about some federal law protecting marine mammals. My right under the Ninth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States to establish myself as the alpha animal on that beach. Someone got told off, so now he has to go exert his power over a bunch of helpless seals. I don't have to turn this off. Okay, then that's as close as I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting it. You know what? I'm getting hey, it. Hey, 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 I'm not even gonna stop. I'm not either. You are by yourself. The seals uh, and sea lions can be removed. You can take them and, and remove them. The simplest way is to put a dog down there. The seals will go away. Is it your opinion that human interest would trump every other species' livelihood? Yeah. It is? Pretty much. Look at all the children over there sitting on the rocks that the seals once inhabited. While the baby seals are floating out there not having a home. And that's what I see is absolutely appalling out here. The adults that are teaching and giving their children that message. People are passionate on both sides of this issue. There's people that are passionate about the seals and there are people who are passionate about making sure that they can still use the, use the beach to swim. There's a group of people who come down regularly and have barbecues. They have diving classes. They'll come out and get the public out onto the beach. We have uh, a couple incidences where in the middle of the night there were firecrackers. We're gonna have our beach picnic tonight and the fireworks are right there. It's like the ultimate spot to watch yeah. fireworks. I don't think that's right because we have hundreds of beaches up the coast of California. We might bother them sometimes, so why don't we just leave them alone? I mean, like, you shouldn't do stuff to them when they don't do stuff to you. The seals were here first, so I consider this their territory. They didn't do anything to us, so why should we do things to them? We're invading their home. Harassing marine mammals, including these harbor seals, is forbidden by the Federal Marine Mammal Protection Act. Essentially what's going on here is that federal law is being broken and there is no enforcement by any government entity. I'm not interested in the federal law. I'm interested I'm in, the interested in the federal Seals law. are a federal issue. There's no argument about that. If this law isn't enforced, people will continue to harass the seals until the seals abandon this site. Maybe it is time for us to take a step back as human beings, you know? Maybe it is time for us to take a step back and not be so selfish.
In a time when wildlife continues to diminish at an unprecedented rate, we should all do our part to preserve this natural wildlife. The SEALs need your help to ensure that the Marine Mammal Protection Act is enforced. Please help us to protect the SEALs.